In this video, I'll show you how to measure and scale your models in Blender. And this can be very useful if you're doing more precise modeling, you're trying to model to a realistic scale, or you want to model to the real life scale in Blender. Now real quick before we continue with the video, I want to let you know about Blender Market's winter sale, and during the sale, all of my products are 25% off. So now is a great time to purchase some courses, add-ons, or products. So my store link will be in the description. So let's just go into edit mode of this cube. And when you're in edit mode, what you can do is click right up here on this button, and then you can click on edge length. So this is gonna show you the edge length of the mesh you have selected. So if I select these two edges, you can see the length is two meters. And if I were to select it and then scale it out, you can see now it's about four meters, but then this one here, that is still two meters. Now on default, Blender uses the metric system, but if you wanna change that, what you can do is click right here to go to the scene settings, and then you can open up units. And right here, you can see the unit system on default is set to metric, but since I live in the United States, we use the imperial system, so I'm gonna change this to imperial, and you can now see that here on the length, we have feet and inches and miles. Whereas if we're using the metric, system you can click here on length and you can use meters or kilometers or whatever you want to use I'm gonna change it to Imperial and then I'll keep the length at feet but for example you could also use inches so now if I go into edit mode you can see this here is 161 inches if I change it to feet instead you can now see this is 13.4 feet now if you're in edit mode you can also click right back here to go to the mesh edit mode overlays and let's turn this one off and you can also turn on the edge angle so with the angle you can see the numbers are kind of going to be this lighter gray color so because this is a cube everything is set to 90. however if i select this and kind of drag it out now you can see if i kind of drag it and look right up here when i'm dragging this out you can see now it's at an angle of 58 if i drag it back here it's at an angle of 90. if i were to drag it way up here you can see now it's turned to about zero because there isn't any angle here. So that's a really useful way to see the angle. You can also in edit mode, click back here and you can turn this off. And there's also face area and also face angle. So with face area, if I select the face, you can see here it says 88 square feet. And also the last one here, let me click back up here and turn on face angle instead. And you can see these are all set to 90. So what I'm going to do is go back here and just turn on the edge length, but I'll keep the others off. This is the one that I find to be the most useful. Now, something that's really important to note is that if you change the size of the object in object mode, the scale isn't going to be correct. So if I scale this object way down in object mode and then go in back into edit mode, you can see this is still 14 feet. If I select in edit mode and then scale it, you can see I can change the scale and that's going to adapt but if I scale in object mode it's still 14 feet so to fix this you need to go back to object mode and you need to press Control a and apply the object scale now if I go into edit mode you can see here this is 15 feet if I scale it way down zoom in here and go back into edit mode you can see it still says it's 15 feet but we know that that's incorrect because we just scaled the object so in object mode hit Control a apply the scale and now if I go back into edit mode you can see it's 1.3 feet now there's also a really useful measuring tool in Blender, so to activate it you can hit the T key for the side panel and you can click right here on the measure tool. And then I find that either going to front view, top view, or side view works the best, so you can hit the 1, 3, or 7 on the numpad. I'm going to hit 7 on the numpad to go to top view, and then you also need to make sure that the gizmos is turned on, so if you don't see the gizmos just click right there to turn that on. So I can now click and drag and it's going to draw out this ruler here and I can just measure this, so you can see it's 2.8, 2.8 feet, and then also I can click here in the middle and drag this out and that's going to split it and it's now going to show us the angle so I could like drag this over here and drag this over here and you can see of course that is a 90 degree angle and then if you want to get rid of your measurement you can just hit the X key or the delete key to delete it so click and drag to drag out you can then click here to add another one here to see the angle and then you can click and drag to add another one and then drag this to see the angle. Now what you can also do is hold down the control key and you can see it's going to snap to an edge. So if I hold down the control key, click here, drag all the way over and then click there and then let go. There you can see it's 2.8 feet. And that is exact. You can see if I move around here, you can see it snapped exactly to those vertices. So that's very useful. So just for a quick example, let's say that I wanna make a cube, which is the size of an average human using the real life scale in Blender. Well, if I go to the add menu, let's go here to mesh and add a cube. 
I'll go into edit mode and I'll just scale it way down and then scale it way down. So if I go into edit mode, you can see this cube is only two feet tall, but a human is around five or six feet tall. So if I just go to front view, let's just drag this up here. I can go into wireframe, deselect everything and just box select the top. And then I can just drag this up here and let's just drag this up till it's about six feet tall. So you can see now this cube here is six feet tall. And so this could be very useful now if you're modeling like a large environment or a scene or some buildings, you could move this around and this can just be the size of an average human. And you can make sure that you're getting the size correct in your scene. Now there's also a really cool add-on which I like to use to create a basic human character. So if I click on edit, go to the preferences, and if I start to type in rig here on the add-ons tab, there is this rigify. So you can turn on the rigify and then if you go to the add menu, you can go to armature and then you can go to rigify meta rigs and you can add a human. And you can see this human is just a little bit taller than six feet tall. So if I just like scale this down a little bit smaller and then hit control A and apply the scale, that is now a pretty average size for a human in Blender. So this is really useful. So when I'm modeling large scenes and I want to make sure I get the size correct, I can like add this over here, stick it next to a building, you know, duplicate this, stick it next to a car. And I can just use this basic bone setup to get the correct scale when I'm modeling a large scene. Now, before I finish the video, there's one more add-on which I wanted to show you, which is really useful for measuring. So let me just go to mesh and I'm just gonna add a cube. So I'm now gonna go edit and go to the preferences. And if you go over to the get extensions, you can search for measure. So click on install and that'll install the extension. You can close the user preferences. So now what you can do is go into edit mode. Let me just zoom into the object and I'll click right up here and just hide the edge length. So to use the add-on, you can hit the N key to open the side panel. You can click here on the view tab and then go to the measure it tools and you can click on show to show this add-on. Then what you can do is go into edit mode. You can select two vertices, for example, and you can click on segment. And you can see now if you click on the show here, it's going to show the size of it. So that's 0.61 meters. Then if you scroll right down here to the bottom, let me just make this bigger. There's a few settings. So you can, for example, change the color. So maybe we'll make it like a white color. You can also hide it or disable it. And there's also a gear icon and you can like change the size of the font and you can rotate it. And there's a bunch of different settings. So if you want to use this add-on, that's very useful. I usually just prefer to go right up here and click on the edge length because I find that's really easy to use. But you can use that measure it add-on if you want to. So that's how you can easily measure and scale your models in Blender. And before I close out the video, I did want to let you know about Blender Market's winter sale, which is going on from February 25th through March 3rd of 2025. So there's still a few days left in the sale, and during the sale, all of my Blender Market products are 25% off. So now it's a great time to purchase some products, add-ons, or courses. For example, my Ultimate Blender Procedural Material Pack, which comes with all of my procedural materials pre-set up in Blender's Asset Browser, also my Sci-Fi Construction Robot Blender Tutorial Series, and I also have lots more Blender products like procedural materials, 3D models and assets, geometry node, modifier setups, and lots more products. So my Blender Market store link is in the description, but I hope you found this helpful, and thank you for watching.